Greetings and welcome once again to all the people taking the time to watch this video and follow this channel. It's me, the 8-Fall Champ, the Adult Fan of Lego Champion, here with another of the collectible minifigures, Series 25, 7, 10, 45 is the set number. It is the, oh gosh, what's the exact name? Is it uh, Fitness Instructor? I believe it is, is what it is. And we've got a woman that's lifting weights here, so I thought, uh, you know, with it being the Olympics, this just, uh, you know, seemed appropriate. And it uh, looks like a good minifigure, so I'd get it out. And uh, again, this is one I really like. I uh, think my my favorite part is the accessories, which are both buildable, which normally I'm not a huge fan of, but they're also uniquely printed. So you get the Vita Rush, which is a brand throughout LEGO City. And then you get the 10 pound uh, kettlebell here. And that is like a perfect build for that. I really like that a lot. Uh, so yeah, when, oh, we'll have a giant giant hair right there my goodness um when you look at the figure itself i mean it's a good figure you instantly know what it is they've had lots of other like workout people in the past they had like the weight lifter they had like a fitness instructor from like the 80s like an uh uh oh what's the word i'm looking for like that they did the like workout tapes or for like on v vhs with the bright colors uh this one though is clearly like a more modern one um you can see the printing on it is good. Uh, the face has two faces. This one I have on here is sweating right now. I like that a lot. You have a unique hair piece. Uh, when you look at the printing of the torso and the legs, the torso has on both the front and the back, of course, and the tattoo on the arm right there. I really like on the legs, you know, on the sweat pants or shorts or whatever this is, you have the little logo there, the little mountains that's like the the sport logo that is seen again throughout Lego City. Um, I could I could instantly just, just throw this figure into my Lego City and it would just be recognizable. I could also put it on display and everyone would just know what it is. Uh, I like that a lot. I could take it apart and make you know lots of other figures with it. All of these accessories and parts are going to be useful for making for making figures. So I like that a lot. Um, if I had to nitpick and find some negatives. I would say that this has been done before, like I said earlier, uh, so it's not exactly a unique concept. This is not my favorite hair piece. That's just a personal thing. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, overall, this is a surprisingly, you know, when we looked at this, uh, you know, the all 12 that were coming out, I don't think this was one of the more hyped ones. In fact, I think this was one of the, the ones that was least popular, and it's one of the ones I like the most. So I'm going to give it an A. Um, I actually had trouble finding these. Uh, this is one of the reasons why it's kind of late in my uh, getting it out order. It's kind of tough to find. But yeah, I'm going to give it an A. So you can tell me if I'm right, wrong, or somewhere in, in between. Uh, I hope you, you know, I hope that this three or four minutes of your life was uh, informative or educational or whatever it is you come to my videos for. Uh, like I said, hopefully you leave me a comment. So hopefully I hear from you soon. Hopefully you hit the like button and hopefully you hit the subscribe button and hear from me again soon. And as always, thanks for watching.